So many people assume that being frugal means that you can no longer have an interest or a passion in style, fashion, designer labels, and that is definitely not the case. I myself personally have collected some really beautiful pieces, which I'm really proud of, that haven't jeopardized my financial goals or my wealth creation strategy. Sure, I've had to maybe save up for a little bit longer, or you know, had to maybe consider the pre-loved market, but it has definitely been worth it. In fact, I probably love my pre-loved items more than my brand new items because they have a bit of a story behind them. Walk past your favorite shops, even though the dress that you've had your eye on is currently on sale. Exercise self-control as hard as it is. Do not get distracted by the pre-fall collection that's just landed in store. No matter how badly you just want to pop in and have an innocent look. Yep, I mean it. Don't pop in and have a look what they've got. Just even though you're just browsing, it's dangerous. Don't do it to yourself. Really, don't do it to yourself. It's not worth it. I know this is really hard, but I'm just trying to focus on all the savings remaining in my bank account that will go towards more shares for the $1,000 project. Also, I'm thinking about how organized and neat and spacious my wardrobe is gonna remain and how empowered and proud I'm gonna be when it comes to the end of February, knowing that I can do this. So another frugal saving hack for you. I buy a lot of my clothes on the secondhand economy. I love that it allows me to afford designer brands and labels. They wouldn't necessarily justify paying full price. Now, this dress is a country road denim pinafore dress. I have been wanting this for a while. Saw it on their website and it was $180. Now I managed to buy this for $45, including shipping, from eBay. It is pretty much in brand new condition. I do need to spend a little bit of money getting it taken in, but I am so happy with it. One of the other websites that I do also love to buy um, secondhand from are eBay and of course the high-end group on Facebook. So many amazing bargains to be had and so many people selling current season clothes for a fraction of the price. I forgot to show you the dress. Check out this. So comfortable, really classic, really happily with my bargains. I am running late as per usual today. I wanted to quickly share with you my frugal outfit because it's a really good one. First up, I am wearing a pre-loved Camilla and Mark white classic shirt, which you may recognize from the cover of my first book, The $1,000 Project. Also, I am wearing a pre-loved skirt, which I will show you the whole outfit in a second. Now this skirt was actually gifted to me from a girlfriend. It didn't fit her anymore, she wasn't wearing it, and she just gave it to me, which highlights a really good idea. Why don't you look at gifting your clothes to your friends or even better, doing a wardrobe swap. If you've got some clothes that no longer fit you, you don't enjoy wearing or don't suit you anymore, and you know that you've got some friends that might appreciate it or might enjoy wearing it, why don't you hit them up and say, hey, I've got some items I'm getting rid of. Would you like to have a look at them before I give them to charity? And maybe if you want, we could look at doing, you know, swapping a few items. You never know what you may end up with. And it is a great way to reduce our consumption, but means you both save money along the mean run. Now, I absolutely love this skirt. I wear it all the time and I'm so grateful. And yes, I have gifted back my girlfriend plenty of other things. So it always works out evenly. And we end up loving our items even more because it came from our best friend friends. Pre-loved Chanel ballet flats. I think I bought these from eBay, but there are heaps of websites, which I'll link in the video description box below where you can buy these. And I think they retail for like $1,100 now. I would never pay $1,100 for ballet flats, just so you know. I would only ever buy them pre-loved. I have one of my first luxury purchases, well, definitely my first Chanel bag. It's the classic 2.55 bag. I bought this eight, maybe nine years ago. And I bought it for around about $4,000 pre-loved. Um, and um, they now retail for 8,800. So actually my pre-loved purchase has doubled in value. Not an investment, but not, not a bad little gain if I ever need to sell it to the secondhand economy and make some cash. Now I wanna to talk to you about this particular dress because it's far from frugal, but there's a really good point behind this. I lusted after this particular dress for a really long time. It was not cheap at all, 
but there are a couple of key things I did that made the investment in this dress a little bit more justified. And by no means is a purchasing of a dress an investment. So please excuse my tongue and cheek here. But these are the key things that I did and thought about before actually buying this dress. Number one, I looked through my calendar at events where I could wear this dress. There's no point buying beautiful designer clothes if they sit in the back of your wardrobe and never see the light of day. So I worked out all the different things that I had coming up where I knew I could wear this where it gets great cost per wear and I get to really love putting it on each time. The second thing that I did was I went through my wardrobe and particularly focused on my accessories like my shoes and handbags and jewelry that would really complement this dress. Not just match it, but complement. So it would take this dress to the next level but also mean that I can change things up, change the handbag, change the shoes, change the, the, the earrings or necklace to make it look a little bit different. So it was really versatile and could adapt to the different types of events that I might be going to. The third thing I went and thought about was the color. Is this part of my color palette in my existing capsule wardrobe? Because if I'm gonna team this up with a jacket or a blazer or a coat or a pashmina, I want to make sure that it really works. As I said, just like the, sh the handbags, shoes and accessories, it's got to complement it. So once it ticked those boxes, I then saved up for it. No, I didn't go put it on a credit card and think I'll deal with it later. I actually saved up for it. And because I saved up for it and it took a while, I actually appreciate this dress so much more. And every time I put this dress on, it feels like I'm putting on a brand new dress because I love it so much. These are Valentino rock stud shoes. And I'm obsessed with these. I actually have a few pairs. And these, like a couple of my others, were purchased pre-loved. I bought them from the clothes group on Facebook called High End. And I think I paid about half the price as to what they retail for. Again, a very neutral color, matches my color palette of my capsule wardrobe. And these are really versatile. They look fantastic with jeans, um, pencil skirts, flowing dresses. And as a YouTube subscriber once commented, they're like jewelry for your shoes with all the beautiful gold studs on them. I absolutely love these and I wear these to death. So I also make sure I take good care of them by getting them regularly resold. So we're in the baby section of Kmart. Kmart is a danger zone because you don't decide what you are going to buy from Kmart. Kmart decides what you're going to buy. There are a lot of different beautiful cute things around me which I would love to go and buy my little apple but I'm going to exercise self-control and remind myself about all the things that we already have at home. I'll buy them when I need them. Buy the sizes she needs when she needs them or if they're on sale. I'm so excited. I just bought the most fantastically frugal dress. This could potentially go down as being my best buy ever. I've got a wedding coming up in a couple of weeks at the end of this month and Instead of going out and buying a new dress, I decided to have a quick look on eBay and I have managed to buy a Roland Moray dress for $158. Now these dresses actually retail for between a thousand up to two and a half thousand dollars. It's crazy. But I managed to find this on eBay and I've actually got some great hacks which I want to show you and share with you right now about how I do this. So first of all, if there's a particular brand that you really love or a particular brand that makes a certain um, you know, dress and a certain fabric, you can actually go and love heart it, which means every time a dress by that brand comes up, it sends you a little notification saying five new listings for Scanlon and Theodore crepe dresses. And you can be as detailed as you like. The other thing is you can actually put in offers. So for example, this dress had a starting bid of $180. And I was looking at it and it's so beautiful, exactly what I needed. It was in a size that I knew would be safe to buy, even if I do have to potentially get it taken in just a little bit. And the thing with this is you can actually make an offer. So you don't necessarily need to kickstart the auction process. You can actually just put through an offer. So I thought, you know what, the starting bid was $180. I'm gonna submit an offer for $150 and see how it goes. Uh, lo and behold, when I woke up in the morning, the offer had been accepted and I just had to pay an extra $8 for shipping. So this dress is on its way to me and I cannot wait for it to arrive. The other thing you need to think of, not everyone is looking to cash in and make lots of money on eBay. So there are lots of great bargains to be had. And this person may not have actually realized that they could have potentially sold this for a lot higher starting bid. So don't always think that eBay is expensive. You're gonna be bidding against lots of people. A lot of people don't realize how fabulous eBay is until now watching this, this video vlog. And remember to make sure you're familiar with that brand so that helps reduce those risks of making bad purchases. And again, always check and see if you could actually return that item back to that seller. So today my dress cost $5 from the Salvation Army in Tempe. 
Faye Delante actually picked this one out for me and I absolutely love it. It's this very simple, classic denim shift dress. Now, the other thing I want to share with you are these Chanel sandals. I'm going to say these were probably about like five, maybe six years old. And probably about two or three months ago, they really had sort of come to the end of its life. Um, they were looking really dirty, really tired. Um, they had um, the sole was coming off. Um, they were frayed. So what I did was instead of throwing them out, adding to landfill, I actually took them to a cobbler or bootmaker, you'd call them. And he actually managed to fix them. He put brand new leather all over the soles. He resold them as well. And they're looking like they are in brand new condition again. So considering they the original satin version of these lasted me five years, say, now that they're in leather, I think they're going to last me at least another five years. Now, think about the dollar cost per wear. You don't necessarily need to give up the Chanel's to be frugal. Now, to go with my resuscitated light pink Chanel and pearl sandals is my pre-loved Louis Vuitton Vernice Lexington style handbag. I purchased this from eBay for I think less than $200 and I bought it at least five or six years ago. It's a really classic style, a really classic color that goes with my capsule wardrobe so I get heaps of cost per wear. I did get an additional strap for this bag so I can wear it over my shoulder or as a crossbody because everyone knows I love having two hands free when it comes to handbags. But this has been a such a fantastic buy. Now this proves to you, you do not need to be giving up the designer labels because you're embracing a frugal life. You can have it all. As I've shared with you guys in this month's vlog, I wear a lot of pre-loved clothing, shoes and accessories and I wear them with pride because they mean so much more to me. Now I'm standing in Pelle, which means leather and skin in Italian, in this amazing boutique shop that's been around for, I think 20 years, or 20 years or more, 24 years, 24, 24 years. And in this store, it is beautifully organized. It's an experience in itself. So if you're in Sydney, you definitely need to come in and check out this store, but check out all the shoes. They're all perfectly organized. So you know exactly where to go to see what is in stock in your size. There are all these beautiful, unique pieces, which I've shared on Instagram stories, like this money clutch, like timeless, classic, beautiful details. Look at the stones on this. And you've also got to check out these amazing Roberto Cavalli um, stilettos, like an art deco style. Look at the detailing on this. This is a store where you're going to be able to find really unique pieces at a fraction of what they sell for brand new. This is all about spending your money wisely, buying investment pieces and focusing on quality, not quantity. As I said, there are so many incredibly beautiful, unique pieces when you consider the pre-loved economy, like this beautiful Chanel bag. It's not quite vintage, it's about 15 years old, but it's been owned by one person only and it is in perfect condition. Now, you can actually follow Pele on Instagram, so I'll make sure I link it in the video description box below. So it doesn't matter if you're not based in Sydney or even based internationally, this is all stuff that you can access. The pre-loved economy is worldwide. Fashion budget hack. I actually have within my monthly budget a certain amount of money that it can be spent on new clothing, shoes, and accessories. Sure, I may not use it every single month, but it allows me, if I don't use it, to then carry it forward to the next month. And that's great if I really want to save up for something really special, or I can also use it to lay by as well. I think it's really important that you have balance in your budget. If your budget is too strict and it doesn't allow things that help keep you feeling sane and a little bit of self-love, you'll make you snap and you'll have a blowout and a financial splurge. That's not what we want to do. It's all about moderation and balance. Frugal outfit to show you because it's one of my favorite dresses. I can never really part with this. It is a tweed classic white dress from Ellery. I bought this when I was pregnant with Rocco for my pre-pop party and it was on sale. But the point is, here is I want to talk to you about the fabric. It's a tweed fabric. It is so durable and it is so classic. A lot of those gorgeous Chanel cropped jackets are quite often made with this tweed fabric. So I don't think it will ever date and I highly doubt I will ever part with it. But it's a very classic shift dress with a really unique style under the arms that gives it a kind of Grecian flowy elegant feel. Also my shoes. 
Now, these were purchased with a coupon code. I always try and look for coupons when I'm shopping online before I check out. And I think that gave me an additional 20% off. So that was definitely worthwhile doing. And then I also want to show you this very beautiful clutch, which is very sentimental to me. This is actually um, from Beirut in Lebanon. They basically made by the female prisoners and it's to help give them a craft to do so that when they leave the prison, they have something they can potentially take towards, you know, creating a better life for themselves because they now have a skill that is actually a commercial skill. And um, this brand, it's called Sarah's Bags, they make all these amazingly exquisite handbags, which are absolutely stunning. So for me, I love it. And it's also vegan. As you guys know, I do a regular clear out of my wardrobe where I list any items that I'm no longer wearing or love, value, use and appreciate on eBay. And all the proceeds go towards the $1,000 project. But every now and again, I might use some of the proceeds of the sale to buy myself something nice. I have been thinking and umming and ahhing about getting another State of Escape bag, but in a different color, in black. Because I'm wearing so much more black and I think I'd get more wear out of a black State of Escape bag. So what I'm going to do with my existing State of Escape bag so that I don't have duplicates and I don't waste money and I try and, I guess, lower the price of getting a new bag. I'm actually going to list this on eBay and the money that I get for selling this, I'm going to put towards the new purchase of the State of Escape bag. But on top of this, I'm actually going to lay by the new State of Escape bag. And I've been thinking about this for a really long time. It's actually been annoying me. So I'm 100% sure it's going to be the right purchase for me and it's going to get great dollar per wear. So cute. Oh, so tempting. Putting it back. 